Do you know what you want? I'm asking you right now, pause the video and list three things that you really, really want in your life. And I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, you listed those three things? Now take a look at them. Are they actually things that you want? Or are they more things that you don't want? For instance, many people will say, I want to be free from discomforts. That would be somebody who has some kind of health issue or discomfort. Now, that's not asking for what they want. That's saying, I don't want the discomfort. Or you might have thought of, I want to create money so I can stop worrying about my life. That, again, is a what you don't want, and you're kind of tricking yourself in the thinking it's a want. Well, the universe can only give you what you very clearly define. So... Instead of looking at things you don't want in your life, what if you look for the things that you'll enjoy, the things that will give you delight and freedom and ease in your life? Can you go and find three things now? And it could be things like every day is a day to celebrate. My life of joy. Now that's quite different from saying I want to stop suffering or being depressed. Okay, so you want to look for things that will really delight you in your life. That's the first step in getting the kind of life you truly desire to live. Now here's something that until recently, nobody ever posed this question to me. The things that you were at first stating is what you want that we really don't want, they actually fit over here in what you want to avoid in your life. So you may want to avoid struggling with your health. You may want to avoid having relationships that go fine for a while and then just fizzle out. What do you want in your life? What do you want to avoid in your life? Both of those make up your thoughts every day. Now, here's the thing to be aware of. If you're like most people and the fact that you're here watching this right now I'm guessing you're like most people. Most people spend 95% of every day reliving all their past events of things they don't want, of things that felt hurtful, of things they were worried about happening, oh, but never did. Do you know that Mark Twain was famous for saying, I lived a long life filled with many worries, most of which never happened. And that's how most people live their day. 95% of the day, all the thoughts are those old thoughts coming back and back and back and back and back and wasting your energy every day. So what if instead of only 5% of every day living in conscious awareness, you started increasing that to 10% and then to 20%. So eventually, you're going to spend most of your day focused on what you in your heart, not in your mind, in your heart because your heart is what connects what speaks directly to the universe that creates that manifest things that you really and truly desire and you state 
clearly in your desires. It's up to you to make that switch from 5% living in conscious awareness to more than 5%. And you can get there by building a little longer each day. Because if you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to set the clock and I'm going to spend an hour focused only on what I want, but you've never done that before, you're setting yourself up for disappointment because change is more likely to happen in your world if you go step by step, increment by increment, until you've actually realized, oh, I really am living in this different space. I really am running my head differently. Hey, by the way, catch this. I'm out of cast. This is just a splint, and I actually take it off and exercise my hand every day. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to keeping it off all the time and feeling comfortable doing so. So that's something that I'm looking at as my desire to have a clear healing of my wrist. Now, I've already gone, and I was having a health issue I never had before and wound up on about six different medicines. Some doctors, that's all they know how to do is prescribe, prescribe, prescribe. And it made me sicker and sicker and sicker because my body never took medicine, didn't know what to do with it, was reacting really poorly. And then I actually called and talked directly. This is cool. I spoke directly to a cardiologist because this stuff is bothering my heart. And he said, you don't need to take that stuff. I want you to take this and that. So I went from the six all the way down to just two. And that has allowed me to do so much healing. I know it's just a matter of time before I'm back to the healthy me who never takes any kind of medicine. If you're having any kind of struggle with your health and your head just got kind of discombobulated, which is what happened to me. If that happens to you and you don't like to take medicine, just ask yourself if right now for a temporary thing, okay, I'm going to do it. But just for a temporary thing, you don't need it for a permanent thing because when you are awake and alert and in conscious awareness, that's when you return to being in charge of you. I feel so grateful that you came by here today to join us for this episode of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and mind. It doesn't go mind to heart. It goes heart and then mind. Because when you start in your heart, it goes out, connects directly with the universe that is creating for you. When you start in your mind, it's your ego mind. It's not even you. It's the thing that keeps you stuck asking for stuff. Turn the big gesture doesn't even matter. I want to remind you to join our Facebook group where you can ask questions, make a new friend. And as I'm on this road to recovery and spending more time online, I'll be in our Facebook group a whole lot more often. You still in there every day. My goal is to get back there every day just for one or two minutes, just to share something with you that maybe you haven't thought about doing or bringing into your life. And I invite you to join our community on Patreon. And by doing so, you can qualify to join me every month for a live video chat 
I love to know who you are, where you're coming from, that you're listening to our show, what questions you might have, and what you might desire for me to cover. I've been a metaphysical minister for a long time, and I used to do a gathering online every single week. And as I feel like I want to spend more time online like I used to, I'll be doing those gatherings. Because a metaphysical ministry is very similar to what the podcast is about. It's the invisible forces driving you. So just as an invitation to put it out there for you, do you realize that your five senses, what you see, hear, taste, touch, and smell, they make up 1% of the world that exists. The rest of it's the invisible forces, so you're missing out on 99% until you understand and recognize how to tune in so you can turn on to all the advice, to all the questions, to all the answers, to all the communications that you may not be aware of right now. And check in the show notes for the link to join our community. I look forward to being here with you next time. And most important of all, Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-I, every moment, because your life doesn't happen outside of you. Your life happens within.